Hey friends, it's been a really busy day here at the greenhouses. We've been planting like crazy and I thought it'd be fun to take you on a quick walk of our growing houses and see what we have growing for spring. We have something like 10 greenhouses full of new plants. Um, so we'll not, we won't see them all, there's just too many, but I thought I'd show you at least a lot of our perennials and some of our most exciting new stuff that's coming on. Let's take a look. So here we are in one of our perennial houses and a uh, nice collection of plant material. Craig has been doing a lot with his own collection of stuff. So Pachysandra Pecumbens and Collinsonia Canadensis. Just some harder to find perennials. I feel like we've really knocked it out of the park this year with those. And very nice hens and chicks just now coming on. You can see how big those are. Delphiniums are going to be great this year. A lot of smaller stuff in this house. But you can see the daylilies are cracking out of the soil. Very nice parovskia. These columbine are totally ready. Beautiful colors on the columbine. So those will be coming out over the next day or so. Love the color there. And these purples are really nice too. Columbine is a really great perennial for the garden. Does seed around. And just a number of nice things. Some nice irises up there. And a great collection of sedums this year. These are all what we would call in the trade pre-finished. They're almost ready, but just great stuff. Our rock garden collection this year is gonna be fantastic. So I'm pretty excited about it. We put a lot of work into it. And a lot of stuff just waiting to break out with this weather, it slowed us down a little bit. We haven't been able to get everything out, but I would say by Monday of next week, everything more or less should be out. Really nice plant material this year. This is just this house. Let's go check out another house. We'll see as much as we can in 10 or 15 minutes. And as we move back to those back green houses, I just thought I would point out all of these amazing plants that are already out and hardened off. These plants have all experienced temperatures in the teens. They look great. Even these dicentra, which can be a little dicey this time of year, they did great. Rhubarb's out, strawberries are out, looking great. And here we are in one of our warm houses with a bunch of aloe vera growing. Looks like a lot of calicia. Some purple Pearl von Nuremberg here. Sensitive plants, looking good. Gotta love it. Always fun. A new propagation rolling on. A lot of nice stock plants. Just a bunch of good stuff in here. Much of this material will be moving out into retail fairly soon. Including a whole wall of Ripsalis back there. Look how cool these Solanum look. This is Solanum Ketoense. These are looking great. Pretty happy with those. And truthfully, we have so many plants right now, it's hard to keep our heads on straight. We have just been planting, 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 planting. So many good, here's all these new starts that we're gonna be potting up. All of our cacti that we grew from seed, these are all cold hardy cacti. Awesome stuff we'll have out in retail. And this is just kind of a behind the scenes tour of how it works. Look at all these agaves. Been keeping these really dry, just getting ready to start watering them. And these are cold hardy. So these are actually cold hardy that we grew from seed. And then this whole greenhouse full of crazy agaves going all the way back. So we're just now starting to pick from here and pull these out into retail. But there are some great selections. And here's just an example of how nice these agaves are. This is agave multifolifera. So we'll, we'll have some really, really beautiful agave plants this year. And here we are in another one of our perennial houses. We have Elijah uh, fescue and some really nice bonfire euphorbia. They're just getting size to them. That's, one of, that's a plant that everybody asks about in my garden. And a number of just awesome stuff. Here's Philom pendula that's 
a really nice large per uh, perennial. Stained glass flower, that's a hard one to find. We'll have that, not a perennial, but a really beautiful plant. Some awesome succulents we're getting ready to pot up. Lots of passion vines this year. See the yellow cards, that's how we monitor for pests in the greenhouse, just see if we have anything going on. Very nice stuff finishing off. These are ready to be moved outside. Love that catch fly, that variegation is awesome. Gara's getting ready to bloom, Erebus. A lot more plug material. We're so full on plants, built all these new greenhouses and we're already full. And here we are in one of our back growing houses. You can see even more plant material coming on. This, these are all a little bit further behind, but what we do is we do rotations of planting. So we always have new plants available and we're doing more and more of that every year. Here we have the hardy kiwis. These are stuck with male and female plants in the same pot, which is pretty cool. That helps with pollination. A lot of eucalyptus. We're doing our eucalyptus this year in just a, a, a plug, a biodegradable plug. That way you can pop them right in. There's no waste with a pot. We're doing a couple different options, but I like this. You can just plant it right away. Berry plants are starting to bulk up. Here's a great plant that you won't likely find anywhere else. Uh, it's called Canary Creeper. Just now getting some heft to it. No flowers quite yet, but the flowers on this plant are awesome. They look like little, uh, little canaries. It's in the nasturtium family, but it looks like we have some develop, uh, bud development here. So that's one of my favorite oddities. Ooh, look at this one. It's variegated. That's always fun when that happens. Citronella crop is looking amazing. You can see we did a lot of those. Some Chick Charms Gold Nugget. That's our smaller crop. We have more of those as well. And different perennials just cracking dormancy, starting to push growth. A lot of figs in here. These figs are a little on the small side, but they will bulk up. I'm excited about these different ones. We probably have three or four different figs this year, including hardy varieties. Let's go look in another hut. Here we are in another hut. There's nothing quite like the smell of a greenhouse that has lavender growing in it. Look at these gorgeous hostas breaking dormancy. This is the this time of year gets me so excited. I'm a gardener at heart. I love my perennials. There's nothing like planting a perennial garden and then year after year seeing your plants get bigger and bigger. And it's just so gratifying when they come back too. Oh man, look at that cardoon. Variegated cardoon. If you've never grown cardoon, these are a little on the small side. We had a little trouble here with some of our transplants. That's bound to happen. But cardoon is one of the most Jurassic looking plants. I personally love thistles. I know that's a little crazy, but thistles actually can have very dramatic foliage. And cardoon, it's not difficult to deal with. It's not like spiny or anything, it won't hurt you but it forms this huge clump, probably five feet across. It's, it's actually an artichoke, um, a wonderful plant. Very, very cool in the garden. Mullen, looking great. Some poppies here, just starting to crack color. Gotta get those outside. A Little bit of my personal collection. And then peppers, 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 peppers. Nice, healthy plants in these nice biodegradable pots. They're doing a good job with these. Look at that. That's beautiful. Jalapeno. A lot of good stuff coming on. All the pink tags are super hot and or rare. So for example, this little group here is called Apocalypse Scorpion. I'm guessing it's hot. This is an exciting house. Very nice 
gold nugget chick charms. Those are in the store available. Some lamium. Looks like we have some mallow in here. And then get a look at all these bananas. If you booked bananas with us, they're growing great. We feel good about them. We're gonna keep pushing them. There's a rare perennial. That's golden silene. Some polemonium here. And then the world's cutest pitcher plants you've ever seen. These are growing in a long fiber peat. We have them in these flooded tables. And they're really nice. So we will have those. And a lot of this stuff is still in the smaller size, but it won't take long. We'll have some gorgeous plants. Here's one I'm particularly excited about. This is a hardy purple sun daisy. That's an osteo. And just so many oddball plants in here. Hard to touch on all of them. But it's guaranteed to be a good year. Here we have the flowering honeysuckle. Really nice. Vine. Non-invasive type. And then more succulents. We have one more house to check out. And we keep getting asked, do you guys grow tomatoes? Do you do vegetables? Um, yep. This greenhouse is almost exclusively tomatoes and the majority of our other stuff is getting into rotation now, but these are really nice, healthy plants in our biodegradable pot. Better bush, that's a good variety. So many varieties here, I would say well over 40 or 50, thousands of plants. We always get asked in April if the tomatoes are ready. They're not quite ready, but we're getting there. Stuff's looking really good. These greenhouses were barely even finished. They're not finished. We're still wrapping them up. All of this planted just today. So it's not much to look at right now, but great varieties. That one's called Indigo Fireball. I mean, there's so many. Liz and I spent many, many evenings seeding these. So it's great seeing them come along. Thanks for taking a quick walk with me. That's just a little bit of the behind the scenes. Obviously I can't show you everything. There's even more plants than this growing here. Uh, but what a fun time of year as things heat up and we're getting ready for the spring push. Tomorrow I'll be doing a retail walkthrough with you. So if you wanna see what's looking good right now in retail, and there is a lot. I'll be doing that with you tomorrow. So thanks for checking in and we'll do this again next time. Thanks.